there has been multiple quakes or bangs that uh, has caused pictures in people's houses and stuff to fall, uh, stuff in the fridge to fall down, uh, stuff in the cupboards to to knock, and, and uh, people were running out of their house, the, the first big one that they had. This next video I'm going to show is uh, just me trapping some uh, mice uh, in and around uh, my, uh, my shed in the back of the house. The last one I show in the video was number seven, but I've since then I've gotten six more mice and one shrew. I think that's what I got. Yeah, six more mice and one shrew since uh, the last one that you see. Hope you enjoyed the video. Those Victor power traps that I got from Canadian Tire that were good for the rats, that really, the mice can stand right on top of it. You wait till you see. Dancing on top of the, the pan of the trap and a wooden fire. I gotta figure out a way to make them even more sensitive. But I need to get that bigger trap working a little bit better because whether it's a mouse or a rat or any type of rodent that comes into that shed that, that's eating on that peanut butter, I want them gone. 2302, 1102, I set the trap. 1115, 13 minutes later, the first mouse arrives. Mm, I smell peanut butter. Mm, there it is. Peanut butter in a cup. I love it. I'll just stand on this, on this beautiful little platform here. Mm, yeah. Stand right on that again. I love it when Charlie feeds me peanut butter. It's just my favorite. I think I had enough. Go aside. Oh, I'm back. Mmm, that peanut butter is so good. Clockwise. That is the best way to get some peanut butter. No, no, clockwise. Clockwise the best. It's like peanut butter in a cup right here in the middle of this little dance floor. Hey, hey, hope you saved me some. Hey, where's the peanut butter? You ate all my peanut butter. Hey, get back here. Get back here! Hmm. Clockwise, yep, clockwise is the best way to get the peanut butter out. No, no, counterclockwise. Counterclockwise is the best. Yeah, this is one of those Victor power traps. Great on rats, great on uh, squirrels, but mice are just too light to set it off as you can see the I checked the footage and the next day I decided to go down and get myself some nice mouse traps then I adjusted the sensitivity of the mice traps and no this mouse here I think he was struck by the trap it didn't get him but there's not a lot of spring in each step. The trap is out of place and fired. So I come out and check. I was like, hmm, how did that trap get fired? So I moved the trap and note the positions of the traps. There's two mouse trap and one rat trap there set. I tried to get this guy. I got one mouse in one of the traps. You see the one in the center. It has a mouse in. And I was like, how did I miss this guy? But you'll see on the slow motion replay, my foot hits the gas can and it deflects it to the left as I'm dropping down the, uh, dropping my foot down. 
just hit the top of it, just missed the mouse. Oh well, one was struck with the trap and kind of got away, didn't catch him. One caught, but look how sensitive that trap is. When you pinch in that little, uh, that little latch that catches the bar, when you pinch that in so it just catches the bar, you can make these traps super sensitive. Now I'm uh, checking out to see what happened, how I missed that first, first uh, mouse. Here's another mouse. So this would be the, well, the second mouse that's going to get trapped tonight. And the trap is fired and the mouse is in the trap. And here comes mouse number three. I have the timer set for 15 seconds, so, and then it rests for 10 seconds and it will fire again. So, somewhere is between that 15, that 10 second period is when the traps are actually fired. And this is yet another one. And another mouse down. That's six mice now. And this was mouse number seven. Okay, so I'm just out here at the uh, Boy Scout camp. And I was hoping to get the, the drone up and fly around and look for any evidence of the sinkhole or, or anything that can explain uh, what the people here in Black Duck have been feeling over the last three days. Friday night, they've had multiple I don't know, explosions. I hear I, some people call it explosion. Some people call it like a, like an earthquake. But apparently there's a woman that lives out here who's from somewhere where they experienced earthquakes and said it's not, it's not an earthquake. But I'm down here at the old Boy Scout camp. And I uh, tried to pick up my drone. I was going to fly it along to see if I could see any sinkholes. I'm wondering if the aquifers are being affected where we had such a really dry summer and a lot of the people were losing water and water pressure and stuff like there. And Black Duck is sitting on a big aquifer. So <clears throat> I was kind of wondering, could it be uh, related to the the drought and aquifers maybe when, when they do drain, you know, they can collapse. And we had a lot of water lately, so the water that's probably recharging the aquifers could be causing some erosion or something. Who knows? But I haven't flown a drone now in a number of months, and it wanted me to to log in to my account, and I can't remember what my uh, drone account password and all that stuff is. I got it written down in a book at home, so unfortunately I gotta go home. And log into that, it'll be too dark by the time I get back. So, I'm not going to get... It, it restricted me, I think, to 115 feet. And, uh, I don't know. I, I couldn't get the drone across the pond. It said max altitude, max distance reached. But, anyway... Something's happening here in Black Duck. They don't know what it is. There has been multiple quakes or bangs that uh, has caused pictures in people's houses and stuff to fall. Uh, stuff in the fridge to fall down, uh, stuff in the cupboards to to knock. And, and uh, people were running out of their house. The, the first big one that they had, they, they didn't know what was going on. Everybody in the community was a, a little shook up. So something's going on here. I have no idea what it was. This is my third time out here in three days. Uh, just hoping to to feel whatever it was. Uh, I was talking to the RCMP. RCMP showed up. They've had uh, multiple reports and uh, people, residents of the area, calling it in. So something's going on. 
what it is we're uncertain but uh hopefully hopefully uh we'll get to the bottom of this somebody somebody with a lot more knowledge in this area than than me hopefully will will uh will figure out what's going on but surprisingly i started doing a little bit of research and uh, i never knew it there's been 16 earthquakes in the Stephenville area since 2020. Uh, three of them were over uh, three on the Richter scale or whatever that, that is. And uh, 12 of them were between two and three and the remainder were under under two. And they say if it's under two, you won't feel it. But I, I've, I gotta tell you, I've, I haven't felt any of those 16 so I don't know they might be so slight slow um, like I'm almost undetectable I guess I don't know I haven't felt anything but since 2020 apparently 16 quakes in and around Stephen area interesting interesting and whatever's happening is happening out this way now so I would love to experience it for myself, just to feel, just to hear, feel. They say it comes in from a, a north, northern direction. It almost feels like a boom, and then they hear the boom, and, and, and it's, it's, everything shakes all at all the same time. Boom. You know, so what, what's causing that? I have no idea. <laughs> 